Hello, my name is Walter Kowalczyk. For the next few months, I'm going to be doing a series of videos about commonly bought items in my local supermarket and the hidden ingredients that are directly responsible for cancer, psychological disorders, and too many health-related problems to list. I am doing this series in memory of my son, Tyler. Tyler died two years ago from ADHD medication, and I run the Tyler Kowalczyk Foundation in his memory to educate people about the horrible truth and dangers of the drugs given to treat ADHD, and also about what's the actual cause of those behaviors themselves. I got this idea after he died to grab the products that he was most commonly eating and see what was being put into his body without my prior knowledge. I was always the type of person to never read the ingredients on a product However, after his death, I figured it would be a good idea to look into these things. What I found was horrific. I had no idea what was in this stuff. I assumed when I bought chicken nuggets, the ingredients would be chicken and breading. What I found was a horrible hidden truth about how we, the American people, are being poisoned in almost every single product that is purchased at your local grocery store. I know a lot of this information is already out there. However, people still argue that ADHD is a disease and the victims of it are helpless to its effects. However, the truth is that by finding the source of that behavior and by eliminating these harmful and unnecessary food dyes and additives, you can achieve the desired level of focus and proper energy management. Now this week I'm reviewing a product I bought called Twist Up. It's an off-brand similar to Sprite bought at your local supermarket. Now this product contains, this is a chemical additive frequently found in everything from children's medicines to food and soft drinks. This preservative, when it combines with vitamin C and sodium, two other, two other very common ingredients, this forms a substance called benzene. Benzene is a carcinogen as well as being responsible for numerous other health problems. Now, while the European governments have taken this issue seriously enough to ban its use in its products, such as pediatric medicine, the U.S. has failed to do so at this point. Apparently, they must believe that either American children are immune to this deadly chemical or aren't as valuable as their European counterparts. As for adults, many whom encounter this substance in tobacco, well, I guess we're not worth protecting, it seems. There are some soft drinks, including pop, that use potassium benzoate as a preservative, and that also contains vitamin C and copious amounts of sodium. Carcinogens may accumulate in the body for years before showing up. They don't just pass out of your system via any form of elimination. Silently building up over decades, even, they can erupt as cancer or one form or another. Okay. Do we need to exacerbate the risk of lowered life expectancy by use of something that is only meant to extend a product's shelf life for a few months? Better options include avoidance of potassium benzoate altogether, as well as other chemical additives of dubious benefit. Also, use of fresh or frozen foods whenever possible, and preferably organic. Another good measure, contact your local representative or senator, senator and voice your concerns about potassium benzoate. Urge that the federal government ban the substance for all age groups. Scientists know what it, this is capable of, and inaction is inexcusable. Now, even though this product doesn't affect focus and energy, I thought it was important to review it. If I had known this product was poisoning my son and giving him uh, carcinogens that would later cause cancer, I would have never let him have one of these drinks. And he drank this pop almost every day. Well, not every day, but, you know, whenever I, I gave him a little treat and let him have some pop. Now, subscribe for more weekly videos of this series. I'm going to be doing them nonstop, every week, different products. Thank you for watching. Please share this information with anyone you can. Together we can save lives.